Yeah. Hello everyone, I'm Craig Williams with your Diz Daily Fix for Tuesday, May 30th, 2017, and here's what's happening today. There's no real big news coming out of Disney right now because everyone's still going crazy about Pandora, the world of Avatar, and then over at Disneyland Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, so I'm going to cover some news for things that are already happening that you may have missed. So, over the weekend, starting on Friday, a brand new projection show debuted at Disney's Hollywood Studios, and it is entitled Disney Movie Magic. I had the chance to see it over the weekend, and it was an absolute wonderful show. So it starts about 30 minutes before the fireworks start time, and uh, it's only a 10-minute show, but it goes kind of through some of the best Disney movies out there. So there's going to be moments from Mary Poppins, Tron, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, and there's even an Indiana Jones section. So it's a really great show. I actually wish they would uh, lengthen it a little bit and make it the fireworks show there because it feels like it would have more of a purpose than Star Wars. But uh, I, I highly recommend it. Get out, get early, and uh, get a spot for it because you will not want to miss this show if you're a fan of Disney movies. Speaking of Disney movies, um, you can also now start to see the preview of Cars 3 at Disneyland and Walt Disney World. So it's a limited time thing at Hollywood Studios. You'll be able to see it at One Man's Dream and out in Disneyland. You'll be able to see it at Bugs Life Theater and Disney California Adventure. So it is running through June 25th. You'll get a sneak peek of Cars 3 and that of course comes out on June 16th. And then you won't need to see the sneak peek anymore because it will already be out. So let's move over to the Diz. Today's feature article comes from Lacey Post and she lists all the reasons why you would fall in love with Lowe's Sapphire Falls Resort in Universal Orlando. Um, there's a lot of good reasons. So it's a beautiful hotel minus Amatista Cookhouse. So I'm guessing that's not one of them. And if they are, we just can't take Lacey seriously. But you can find that article at WDWinfo.com. Now trending on the boards today is a great thread over on the Disney Cruise Line forum entitled Disney Cruise Line vs. Royal Caribbean Comparison, where poster Happily Ever After 80 writes a detailed comparison on the two popular cruises from booking excursions uh, to accessing your reservations. If you're wondering how these cruises stand up against each other, head over to disboards.com to join the conversation. Now, there is no shows today on the Dis Unplugged, but look for a vlog going up later at youtube.com slash disunplugged, and maybe that will uh, hold you over until we come back with the next Disney World edition show next week. So now wrapping things up with the weather, if you're out in Anaheim today and tomorrow, you'll expect clouds turning into suns with temperatures in the 70s and then a low right around 60 each night. Here in Orlando, there's a chance of storms and rain today and tomorrow with highs right around 92 both days and lows right around 73. So for links to all the information in today's Diz Daily Fix, please visit the Daily Fix main page at wdwinfo.com slash daily fix. Of course, I'm doing this from the Diz 20th anniversary Mega Meat auction room. So if you haven't downloaded Hambid yet and started to bid on some of the great items we have, Go ahead and do that right now because there is a lot of good stuff happening here. And if you are in town for the 20th anniversary Mega Meet, make sure you find us. Say hi at some point because we want to meet y'all. So that's going to do it for me today, but we'll be back with you tomorrow for the next installment of the Diz Daily Fix. Have a great day, everyone.